I'm gonna say I was seven when we met, would that be right? Yeah, I think I was about yeah, six. So I started racing go-karts six years old, so I had a little bit of experience. One year later, Earl started, and uh, believe it or not, I was actually the teacher. So uh, right. even the first Le Mans victory, I, I claim I had a bit to do with for, for Earl. So actually, Earl's father would uh, take us out to the go-kart track and he would pay me in basically mince pies and, and sweet stuff that my parents wouldn't buy me. He'd basically bribe me to come and help Earl. I still claim it. You claim it. No, I mean, it was also, I mean, really, really good times um, hanging out at the go-kart track. And uh, we also hung out on the farm together and, uh, you know, did a lot of stuff like that as well. BH also learned how to drive a manual car on, on the farm as well, so I uh, can claim that, that he knows how to shift the gears. We probably shouldn't be mentioning all this stuff, but it was private land, private land, right? Yeah, it was private land. We weren't breaking any laws at that point. It was a cool way to grow up, and it's quite amazing that also last time, well, when we started go-karting was also the last time Porsche won Le Mans, you know, in uh, 1998. Okay, that's a good, it's good, a good point, That's huh? a good step, that's a great step, uh, mate. I'm gonna, can, use, I'm gonna steal that. If you can imagine, two eight-year-olds or seven and eight-year-olds saying, okay, next people to win would be uh, the both of us or on the podium and then win two years later is quite crazy. Yeah, so we, we raced against each other, I'm gonna say until we're about 12, would that be right? And actually our careers took quite different paths because I was in Europe, I was in Asia, I mean. Yeah. You started with the LMP2s and then self with coming through GT with Porsche and then Eventually I thought it was a smart idea to put a kid from Carrera Cup in an LMP1 car. It was a good idea actually. Timo and I both pushed 100% to get Earl in our car. I used to drive with Timo in Carrera Cup Germany in, in Team 75, so... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty crazy to think two Kiwis that grew up together, the kart track, are standing on that podium together. You know, the support from New Zealand was, was quite cool. I know a lot of people stayed up till the end of the race, which was maybe 1 a.m. and then continued partying until 3 a.m. So, um, yeah, I think it's great when there's a support, you know, from other side of the world down under, you know, for the championship and, and also for Le Mans. Like you said before, our, our careers went quite different ways. So there was this period of 10 years that we didn't have a lot of contact. You know, we were such good friends as kids. And I mean, that was genuine. I think yeah. three, four years in a row in the summer, my parents would drop me off at the farm and say goodbye. I was there for, and I'm a city boy, so you, so you, just so you get an idea, it was very much a country boy. There was a few things I had to learn out on the farm that was a bit of an eye opener. Actually, yeah, maybe in the next year or so, I need to go down and reminisce a little bit and a few handbrake turns down the driveway. Yeah. It's cool. So, we've got BH's wedding. So maybe, maybe after that. Maybe after that. Hey, you're too powerful on the bike, yeah.